Okay, next we talk about number line. So first of all, number line. Now, number line consists of uh, what you see here, a straight line uh, with an arrow. And usually we need to draw the number zero. And um, let's just draw a few numbers. So 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, next let's talk about uh, marking numbers on number line. Say for example, I want to uh, mark two and uh, negative three on the number line. So usually what we do is we will uh, place it with a dot. So this will be two, this will be negative three. Now next, uh, what if we say we want to mark 0 0.3 on the number line? Pause the video, do it, and then we can check. Continue. So the answer for B will be uh, 0 0.3 is in between 0 and 1, right? So it's between 0 to 1. So what we do is we can simply just mark a dot, and then we will draw an arrow and label this is 0 0.3. Note that this is just estimate, right? So you don't have to really measure and uh, indicate 0 0.3. Now next, let's look at inequality. So inequality is something like that. First, answer the two question. No, copy and answer the two question. 2 is more than or less than 3. 3 is more than or less than 2. Okay, let's continue. Now we know this is less than, right? No, the than is there already. And uh, let's just focus in uh, this first, all right? So 2 is less than 3. How do I indicate using a mathematical symbol? So we say that 2, we say that 2 is this symbol 3. Uh, so this symbol here actually means less than. Uh, one trick that I uh, like to remember is I, I will look at this. I will look at this as um, uh, I, I usually call a small opening and big opening. So this over here is small, right? Or rather, this opening is smaller than this opening. So this is the bigger opening, right? So we say that if I read across this line, so 2 will be smaller than 3. Now let's uh, so let's write this uh, in words, huh? So this symbol actually means smaller than. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Uh, let's just look at this. So three is something than two. So we know the number. The answer is more. So three is something two. Now to replace the word with max symbol, the answer will be using this symbol. Now use that uh, trick again. Here represents bigger, right? It's, it seems like a bigger opening. And here represents uh, a smaller opening, right? So if I read this, it will be 3 bigger than 2. Alright, so the bigger opening will always face the bigger number. Alright, so... Uh, we summarize this symbol here all right means more than now sometimes you will also see an arrow uh, a line below the the symbol so let me uh, illustrate so this symbol here with a stroke here means smaller than or equal so you want to make a guess uh, what does uh, this means? You're right. More than or equal. Okay, let's quickly finish off last part. The last part is to understand absolute value. So let's take a look at uh, this, this number here. This is a negative sign, right? So this will mean that it is to the left, left uh, of 0, okay? 
Now, uh, this 2.4, we call it the absolute value. Okay, so what it means is that we will move 2.4 units uh, to the left of 0. Now, let's try and illustrate using a number line again. So we say that this is 0, uh, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, negative. And when I want to label negative 2.4, or I want to mark 2.4 on the line, what it means is uh, it is to the left of 0, so I'm moving towards this direction, and 2.4 is, it means that I have to move 2.4 units to the left of 0. So this is 0, and I have to move 2, 2 is here, 0.4 units. So this is 2.4 units. And therefore, I must mark it here. So do it label properly. So this will be my working. Uh, let me erase the unnecessary things. Huh? So this is not the working. Uh, this is not the working as well. Alright, but I just want to see that I move 2.4 units to the left. So my working will be labeled in black. And this is my answer. Okay, I think it's important to discuss more about uh, this inequality. Huh? So let me just come back here. Now, uh, turn over to this page where we talk about inequality. Now, uh, we want to consider uh, inequality. Uh, it gets a little bit tricky with negative number. Uh, let me just give some example. So let me just uh, shift this away. Maybe let me just cut it away and put it below. Uh. So say for example, I have... Um, Let me just draw a number line first. Okay, draw a number line, and um, this is zero. This is one negative, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, one, two, three, four, five. Now, uh, let's look at a positive uh, side first. Uh, it is very obvious that this is big, right? Bigger bigger than this this is smaller right so if I say I, I have a uh, 5 something 1 which one is bigger so you know that this is bigger so my inequality must turn this way now, however on the negative uh, integer side which is bigger is it negative 6 or negative 1 Okay, the answer is here. So this is bigger and this is smaller. So then when I have say for example negative 1 and negative 6. So you could ask yourself is this big or small? So this is big, this is small and so I must point my inequality this way. Now test yourself again. Say for example I have uh, negative five something negative four. Okay, pause the video, test yourself. Alright, so again you look at the value. So since this is bigger than this, this is smaller. Uh, we know that the answer is here. 